Okay. Hey guys. The time is finally here. Honkai Impact 3rd just dropped their animated short graduation trip. Oh my gosh, you have no idea. As you can see from my face, I am unbelievably nervous, man. This short, I have been in fear of it all week, and I don't know if I can be ready for this, man. Uh, today, I'm just going to react to it with, uh, without the context of chapter 35. I'm going to react to it a second time after I've played it, but <clears throat> I'm just going to give my initial impressions, um, my thoughts, what I, whether or not I like it. I'm, I'm, man. Uh, I'm so nervous. Come on. All right. Anyways, I'm just going to hop right into it. Uh, wish me luck. Come on. Come on. Just mm, click it. Click it. All right. And go. <笑>まるで昔に戻ったかのように例えば今のようにそうだろう君は驚いていないようだこの景色懐かしいだろう <笑> まだ進み続けるんだからどう私に会って驚いたところで一人足りないねんこれで揃った<笑> ここの人は過去に残ってもらおう。じゃあさよなら。なんか言ってくれないの？よくやった。Holy <笑> crap. Oh, come on. Oh. Don't give me that look. いろいろあったね。本当にいろいろあったわ。今回もここでお別れなの。いいえ。今回は最後まで一緒に歩くわ。Please <sighs> do, man. Please do. Oh, man. These two, I swear. Come on. Just let them be happy. Dude, the animation on this is so good. Everything looks so sharp and clean. Look at that! Stand, Narita. Oh man, come on. Oh, cooking with Valkyrie's reference. Oh my god, second like eruption. Come on, man. All the flame chasers, Kevin and May. Oh my gosh. There's Teresa. 
finally showing up in one of these animated shorts. There's Fuhua. Look at them, everyone's so happy. They're all so happy together. Come on, Kiana, can't you stay with them? Oh my gosh. Oh man. Night Moonbeam? Okay. Oh, come on! Come on! You can't just... God damn it! Saint Freya has always got me weak. Oh my gosh. Please just keep smiling. It's baby Kiana. Come on, kiddo, get up. You got this. You're good. Oh. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Come on. Come on, Kiana. Dedicated to every captain supporting the game, Hong Kampak third current team members and the animated short production team. Thank you for joining our joining our journey. This is the path we created together, as in the past, as in the future. Oh! Ah! Oh my gosh! I am a mess right now. Oh my god. Dude, the ending shot with baby Kiana going towards the earth, we see here. Oh my god. We see Kiana here facing the earth. And then we see the current Kiana going towards the moon. Oh my gosh, man. And oh my god. Mihoyo is so foul for this one. No. Ah. I am in so much physical pain right now. Come on! I am not okay, guys. I am not- I am not okay! Oh. God. God, man. The first lines, that's absolutely beautiful and poetic, man. The first lines tell you exactly what the short's gonna be. It's not about, it's not about the Honkai, it's not about fighting, it's not about anything grand like that. This is simply just Kiana looking back to the beginning of her journey and 
focusing on the people that made it so beautiful in the first place. Getting to see all of them be happy. Getting to spend that last few moments with them. Before getting on that train, moving on to seal finality, I'm assuming. But, oh my gosh. Man, I don't... I'm at a loss for words, guys. This... Oh man, this finale has just got me so messed up. Man, come on, it's got me in so many emotions. We get to see Teresa, May, Himiko, Bronya, Fuhua all back here. We got to see Durandal, Rita, Stan, Sele, Rosalia, Lilia. We got to see Ev we got to see Colin, we got to see Sakura. We got to see everybody who we've met on this journey so far. We got to go back through all the important moments here. We got to go back. We got to see Auto Apocalypse. We got to see the Hersher of Domination. We got to see the Hersher of Corruption. We got to see the Hersher of the Void again. And then we get to see May and Kiana reunite in this memory. But then we get to see them here. We get to see them travel the world. We get to see them we get to see them focus on the beautiful things around them. All their friends, everyone they've met, all that they've been all that they've been through on this long journey. We get dude, we get to see look at this. We get to see Siegfried, Cecilia, and Siren. Like if you haven't read the manga, you don't even know why this image hits so hard. I'm just I am just at an absolute loss for words. I did not think they would include something like this. Oh my gosh. Oh, and we get to see Kiana and her parents in the same frame here. God, look at look at them. Look at these guys, man. Look at them. Such a happy family. But if you if you read Second Eruption, you know what happens. You know what happens. And I I don't know how to process these feelings. And then we get to see Kiana, Bronya meet Kiana, Bronya, and May. We get to see them meet a uh, Teresa and Fuhua again. I'm pretty sure this is the first time Teresa appeared in an animated short. Same with Rosalia and Lilia. And then we get to see Kiana saying her last goodbyes as she goes off. Oh man. And we get to see here. <laughs> Her last memories. Oh my gosh. Come on. Dude, look at her eyes here. Look at her eyes here, man. They look so sad, but at the same time so hopeful. Like, she just realized that what she's done is going to secure the future of all the people that she cares about. But she can't be with them. Look at this. She's so overcome with emotions here. Her eyes tell so many different things at the same time. It's so sad, yet so happy, so triumphant, yet so defeated. I am so blown away by, by these subtle details. And the animation was just so good. Everything looks so clean. I don't know, if I had to interpret this last scene, we get to see our Kiana helping up the older Kiana on her way to connect with the people on Earth that she loves so much, to protect the home that she, the only home she's ever known. We get to see Kiana raise up the past Kiana to help her on her trek, but then we also get to see the end of that journey where Kiana goes towards the moon. I'm not sure if she actually gets sealed on the moon, unfortunately, um... Oh man. Unfortunately, Global doesn't get chapter 35 until for another few weeks. But I'm so curious to see what's happening, man. I'm so curious. I really want to know. And knowing and having this anticipation is going to be killing me throughout the chapter. And then when I watch this again, I'm going to absolutely break. This was such a well-done ending to the story, even if I don't fully understand it. Oh, 
I don't know, man. I'm just so stunned. I'm so happy with this animation. This is the story we created together, as in the past, as in the future. Oh my gosh. I am, I am so blown away, man. I am so blown away. Man. Ugh, come on. The thing is, I don't even think that this... I don't even think this animation has any real spoilers. That's the thing. Like... Just from this alone, I can't tell anything about what's happening. I cannot put any of this to context at all. Like, everything that appears in this trailer, I've been able to interpret purely because of symbolism. And what I'm assuming it's trying to tell me. Like, the screenplay of this was so strong. And we get to see literally everybody. Every single person on this journey. Every single person. Even the ones that Kiana never met directly. Uh, I think earlier here, we get to see the... Uh, you gotta see, like, the flame chasers in one of these scenes with, like, uh, Dr. May over here. Yeah, here. Look at that! We even get to see, like, Eden, Alicia, I think that one is, uh, Apon- no, Ponya's back here. That's Mobius. We get to see Sue, Sakura, Cosma, Griseo, Ardo Feliz. Uh, we get to see Kalpis there, and we get to see Vilivi. And we get to see all of them there, and it's just like, and then we get to see the golden courtyard from the anime. We get to see these guys over here. I think that this shot is supposed to be representative of leaving the old era of Flame Chaser behind, and we get to see Kiana, Bronya, and Mei here with a map. But Mei, if you notice, is the only one looking back, because she's the only one who knows the Flame Chaser story. And we get to see Bronya and Kiana looking at the map, looking at where to go forward. We get to see them all looking at the map. So I think what this image is meant to represent is putting the flame chasers in the past, but May is the only one that acknowledges them still. And then we get to see the main trio looking for a new route ahead, looking for their own path ahead to create their own story, like Alicia said. Gosh, the imagery in these scenes is so good. Oh my gosh. This is gonna this is killing me. And when and I know for a fact, one reason why I wanted to react to this before anybody is because I, because I use Twitter a lot to interact with the Honkai Impact community, and I don't want to be left behind on the discussion, especially because Chinese players are going to be way further ahead than me. And when they start pointing out more details that I didn't notice during this, I'm definitely going to refer to them in the next reaction video I do. But, man, this is- it's gonna hurt me so bad, man. This hurts already. We get to see Himiko again. Why? Mihoyo, this is so foul. You can't just do this. Oh, uh, Mihoyo knows. It's like Pavlog's dog. Every time Himiko shows up, everyone's just gonna cry. Like, I'm crying right now, man. I am so- Oh my gosh. My emotions are just running wild right now. I don't know what to feel anymore. And this moment here with like little Kiana is just so cute. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at it. She, she fell up here. Her back she fell, she dropped her backpack and she rolled all the way down here. That's so cute. And then we get to see Kiana helping her up. Give her Yeah. Ah, and and pair pair this with the line one has to eventually grow up. It's, her, it's our Kiana, after having been through everything, realizing that these setbacks are just part of the process, and reassuring her that she's going to be okay, and that she'll be able to be happy. And that she should continue trying to connect with the Earth. With the people. Oh, look at her. Look at how small she is. She has her little, like, chameleon backpack like the elf does. It's so cute. Look at her. Oh my gosh. She is so precious. Gosh, look at how much she's grown up, man. 
I have never been so proud of a fictional character or most real life people. Let's be honest. But oh my gosh, this journey has just been so emotional to me, man. We've got to see such high highs, such low lows. Got to see them be happy. We've got to see them be sad. Oh my gosh. Look at how much she's grown up, though. She's ready to she's ready to face the next step and push on with that smile, that same smile that she always has when she's facing down something difficult. But this time it's different because she knows what she's fighting for. She's not just trying to sacrifice herself. She still believes that she can push forward and it's not the end. It's so different than earlier where she would just smile even though she was being battered and ignoring the help of her friends. These these few images are just so they just man they just speak absolute volumes about the character development that Kiana's gone through in these past 6 years and oh man it's just it's just gorgeous i don't know how else to say it And then may also notice that this line, this lyric, is the only one here. I don't know how many people notice this, but this line, may all the beauty of this may you the beauty of this world always shine. May you the beauty of this world always shine. It's the only line in this song that's written with quotation marks. Like if you take a look at all these ones, we get to see all the other lines of the song. You can see here, no quotation marks, no quotation marks, until this last bit. And I think that's so powerful, because we can... Oh man, Because Kiana has touched so many people, she has inspired so many people, and has been, has been the beauty of the world to so many of the Valkyries, and so many of the characters that we've met along this story. And we can interpret this quote as any of them saying to Kiana, may you, the beauty of this world, always shine. May you, Kiana, the embodiment of the human will just to help others and to be happy. May you always smile. And I couldn't agree more. I really hope that no matter what happens in the story, Kiana will always be happy from now on. I only wish that much of her. Man. I'm gonna stop rambling. Oh my gosh. And we get to see Kiana walking to the moon, of course. Of course. Oh man, please. Please, Mihoyo, bring Kiana back for a future plotline. I don't know. I hope the theories of her going to the moon in order for her to be able to control the Honkai in finality are true, and that after she's done being able to control all that, she's able to come back to us, man. Please don't take Kiana away from us forever. I can't handle it. Oh, how cool would it be if she appeared in Honkai Star Rail later on in the story? Because they're like alternate universes or maybe alternate planets, who knows? And I haven't played anything about Honkai Star Rail yet. I'm going to play that game when it comes out. I just don't know how it's connected to the Honkai universe. But if she makes an appearance in that, I am going to have an absolute nerd freak out. Or if she comes back in a post-Honkai Odyssey or the second part. Because remember, this is only part one of the Honkai story. This is the first like arc of it, I guess. But we're going to see more from the Honkai universe, but it's just not going to be the same to me without Kiana, man. I really hope that she's going to do well and that she'll be able to be safe. Oh, man. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you guys for watching. If you liked, um, if you have any other thoughts about this short, leave them in the comments below. Please do not leave any spoilers for anybody who might not have played the story yet. I'm going to be playing chapter 35 when that comes out, and I don't know, guys, um, if, you, if anyone's watching here, um, man. the world we live in today is a scary place, all right? There's a lot of bad people out there, and if you can be the source of hope for another person through a couple small acts of kindness... You don't even have to, like, dedicate your life to it. Just, like, every now and then, if you have the opportunity to help someone, please do. Those little acts of kindness will go a long way in making their lives better, and in turn, they can turn around and use that to help other people. When we help others, we help a lot more people than you would actually think so. 
And I think that that's beautiful. That's why I strive to be kind and selfless as much as I can possibly be. And I love helping other people because the thought of them having that slightly be having a slightly better day or even that moment just it's priceless to me. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more Honkai content. Bye guys.